What's up, everybody? This is Julian with Happy Gourmet Dish. Again, thank you for uh, for tuning in. Today we're gonna try something a little different. Uh, first of all, I hope everybody had a good day. Uh, my day is about to get heck of a lot better. Uh, right now we're gonna try some Latin flavor, some Latin food. So if you're used to, if you're familiar with Caribbean food, we're talking Puerto Rican, Dominican, uh, you know, anything Latin. Those guys here at Santiago's restaurants, we're gonna give them a quick review today. Uh, I've been here before, I love the food. I have been here many times, uh, but today we're gonna put it, uh, you know, one for the ages. We're gonna record a video, uh, take the vibe on the inside. Now, again, as usual, like my previous videos, those guys are open and uh, it's just that people don't dine inside. However, I believe they do um, delivery, not catering, but delivery, maybe catering as well. Uh, but you can order, take your food, go home, or go to a remote spot and uh, you know enjoy your food. So today it's gonna be Santiago's. They're all about Latin flavor. They're here in Claremont, Florida, and Kagan Crossings. Uh, if you're ever in town, if you're familiar with the area, if you're craving anything with some good flavor, some good Latin food, this is the place to be. <laughs> no, don't, don't don't worry. I don't take your face or anything. I'm just taking the food. <laughs> All right, now on the second platter, if I could please have some of this this rice right here. Yes. And uh, you know, I think we're gonna have some of this chicken right here. Uh huh. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, sure. Yes, please. Absolutely. Both, please. Awesome. Thank you. Now, you guys have pork belly? Yes. Awesome. I'm going to have a side of that as well. Please. The fried one, the good stuff. Oh, it it doesn't matter. I guess the one that you grabbed, yeah, that'll be awesome. Awesome, that'll be it. Thank you. Are you the owner here? Yes, sir. Hey, awesome. Well, my name is Julian, 
And we just started like a, a, a local YouTube channel. We're promoting local restaurants. I know you guys don't do dine-ins anymore, but you guys are open and you serve food. We can, you know, come and, and buy food. I don't know if you guys deliver or do catering and like during this moment. Yes, sir. Awesome. Awesome. Okay. Okay. Yes, sir. Awesome. Yes, sir. That's great. That's awesome. Hey, I'm gonna put a link of this video through you guys' YouTube, um, not YouTube, but uh, Facebook page. Um, you know, check it out. Give it a like. Thanks for everything that you guys do. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Wow. That's amazing. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Wow. Those guys are amazing. Now, guys, please check those guys out. Let me turn the camera around. All right. Those guys are Santiago's restaurant. They do. It's a Latin buffet. They have lunch specials. They have uh, two for ten specials. And if ever you are in the area, please out. Uh, those guys are great. Uh, now this is the fun part. This is the part where we get to actually taste what we got. I went in there. They had so many selections as you guys will see in the video because I tried, although I didn't go all out recording inside, I tried taking a bit of a selection of what they offered, what they make, what they cook. This is the fun part. Now, this lovely bowl of apples is a little bit too close. I didn't get these there. Uh, this is, you know, this is, this is the healthy stuff that I don't want to touch today, but right now, this is the fun part. Should we start with small first? Big, big? I, I don't know. I think, I think, I think the smaller packages sometimes they pack a bigger punch. So let's start with this right here on my left. Maybe your guys is right. I don't know. Um, I'm gonna start with the unboxing, the unpackaging, the tasting, the looking at what's inside, and really enjoying the flavor. So with this one right here. We have some rice, some chicken, uh, the, the sauce, the gravy itself, it looks really thick. It smells amazing. If only you could smell through the video, you can, you can, you can, oh my goodness, I'm excited for this one. So now this is box number one. Let me put this aside. Now we got box number two. It's a different type of rice. This is a lighter rice with some green little, uh, I guess, are they pinto? No, I don't think they're, anyways, some type of yummy green beans uh, with some, I believe that's pork um, and, and, and its own sauce, its own gravy. I see some peppers in there, some red, some green. And again, the smell is just intoxicating. I cannot wait. Now the rice, uh, you know, I'm sure I'm gonna enjoy it, but that meat, you can smell it. it. It's I love pork. It's it smells amazing. Now, what I think is as usual the star of the show. I always leave the last uh, one, which I think is the best or the best for last, whichever way you want to put it. This little box right here. This little package. This is what I've been excited all day for. This is the chicharron or as we call it, the pork belly. Now, they had two choices, two options. They had the one that they, um, that, that was in its own, you know, sauce, its own gravy, and then there's the dip, deep fried. Me, when it comes to this bad boy right here, it's all about deep fried. Let me, oh, oh my goodness, the, I don't know if you guys can hear how crispy but in the meantime too so juicy at the same time you can see the 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 juice of it it's although it's deep fried it's not all the way hard it's not i have to i have to i have to take a bite of this i have to take a bite of this this is this is the reviewer privilege if you will let's let's give it a bite That's the stuff, people. That's, oh my goodness. This, 
by myself. I can take care of it. Now, I'm probably gonna need some napkin, something to, I should have thought about this before, opening this before, but uh, let's see here. There we go. Mm. It is so crispy. Has some good chew to it. It's very flavorful. Now, although it's very juicy, you don't just taste just the grease, uh, the grease in it. It's it's it has its own. I don't know what they use for uh, spices. It's not spicy, but it has some very good flavor. Plus the pork flavor, the the fat that comes with that pork meat. It's all the goodness. So now that we've tried this puppy right here, I'm gonna come back to it. Now I'm I'm off camera because you know I want to enjoy it. Uh, now let's. Go ahead and move up back the line. Put this aside. Down right here. All right. Now, this is again, this is another type of pork. Um, this one is not deep fried. Uh, it's in its own gravy, uh, sauce, however you want to call it. Now, I want to take a little bit of rice by itself. Mm. Oh yeah, it's really good rice. This rice almost does not need any toppings on top of it. No sauce necessary, no gravy necessary. It packs its own punch. It has its own flavor. Um, you don't need really anything to go with it. But then again, there's this beautiful glistening meat with all of the, uh, the little peppers right here that we're gonna enjoy. So without any further ado, uh, it's it's gonna be mine, so I'm that's, I'm you know I'm dipping with my fingers. Mm. Oh yeah. Mmm. It's just good. It's just really good. I'm not versed enough to know what they use or how they cooked it, but it has some. It's it's the the flavor is very strong. You can taste the pepper. You can taste the, the, the spices that they've, again, it's not spicy. It doesn't need to be spicy. It's that good. It's really tender. It has some very, it's, the chewing is effortless. Now, the, the, the meat, although it appears to be thick, just a few chews, you're good. That's how well prepared, well made uh, they make this. It's not something that, it, it doesn't taste like it's sat for too long. I don't know if you guys ever had, you know, in buffets and restaurants when something sits and the, 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 you know, the entire day under that light, it gets hard, it gets difficult to chew. Not this right here. It's really good. Now we're going to move on, unfortunately, to the last box and see uh, what that rice, it's a different rice, what that chicken tastes like. Let's give it a shot again. Now for this rice right here, they were a little bit liberal with the gravy. It's because I ask for that. I ask when you know the rice is not dry, uh, that 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 sauce, that that chicken gravy looks so good. I ask them to put some on the rice for me to be able to enjoy it a little bit more. I don't think it needed it, but I'm sure I'm gonna enjoy it a little bit more. So let's let's go ahead and take a spoon right here. I don't know if you guys can, if you can see it has some peppers in there and I'm sorry for the shakiness of my hands. Uh, it's just, I'm so eager to start really diving in. Um, let's, let's give it a try. Mm. It is just as good as this. Now this one, because of the gravy on top of it, it's uh, it makes the rice a little bit sweeter. The rice by itself is, is very flavorful, very good. Um, but the sauce is a little bit thicker. It's a little sweet. It's it's kind of like a little sweet and spicy um, type of deal that that I'm I'm working with right now. It's not like sweet and sour in your typical you know Asian restaurants, Asian market, Asian markets. It's has a bit of a kick. You know, it's you start chewing, you start chewing, and once you're done that's when you feel it in the back of your throat 
It's not overwhelming. It's not going to make you cough or anything. It's just very pleasant. One last piece before we say goodbye and before I, I dive in for real behind the scenes. Mm, I don't know where to, where to bite. Mm. I thought this was barbecue, but it isn't. Again, same deal as with the pork. It's, it's really well cooked. It's not something that sat for too long. It's fresh. Um, it doesn't take a lot of chews to really enjoy the meat. Now, it's marinated in that wonderful, almost orangey type of tangy type of uh, um, gravy. I thought at first it was barbecue. It is not. It has some sweetness to it. It has some, some kick to it, if you will. It's the perfect combination for this meat. It goes well on the rice. It's not overwhelming. It's not something that because it's on there, you're going to be like, oh my gosh, it's so sweet. I cannot eat it. Overall, this is going to be a fun little dinner. Um, I want to say thank you to the people, the good people at Santiago's. Um, as soon as you walk in those doors, they treat you like family. They treat you like somebody that's been there for years. Um, everybody was very open. They were all too happy to really, you know, making sure that I got what I wanted. Um, although I wasn't sure what I was looking at at a few times, uh, the, the people in there, they were, you know, offering to tell me, offering to uh, inform me at uh, what the selections they, you know, they had, um, what, you know, I could go with, uh, you know, if I wanted this, they had more than just the one option that I saw on the spot. They were telling me that, hey, on top of this, we also have that. It's the same meat, but cooked differently. Again, I want to thank them for their hospitality, thank them for the fact that they're still open. Um, now, during these times, it's 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 difficult uh, to keep up with everything. It's difficult sometimes to even cook during the day. So if you do not feel like cooking, if you want to eat something with some good flavor, some good Latin food, check those guys out. It was a pleasure, again, to share this, this fantastic uh, food, local flavors with you. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, give it a like, subscribe. There's going to be a lot more to come, uh, although they may be sparse, but uh, we're doing our best uh, to make sure we, we keep the videos coming, we keep the local flavors of Central Florida coming. Thank you for tuning in. Until we meet again, have fun.